everyone! What is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena. Yes, my hair is atrocious and the lighting isn't exactly the best right now, but that's because I specifically left my lights off to show you this. I've actually been doing something with all the stuff that I've been storing back there. I don't think that my studio is technically complete yet. Um, as you can see, there's still... here. Ah, there we go. Plenty of empty space on the wall, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Anyways, what I have going for today's video, I say as I awkwardly try to stare into the camera while grabbing at it. And this is it. These are the Crayola Cosmic Crayons. It seems like they just keep coming out with more and more and more and more varieties of these things. And you know what? I love Crayola for it. So. Let's get going. All right, so let's get a good look at these. Let's go for the open. Oh, look at them. They're so pristine and beautiful. Well, that ain't gonna last. All righty, so on the back of the box, it actually says that these are inspired by solar system so like space kind of thing I mean like cosmic makes sense um, so I am curious okay yeah it says that these are technically glitter crayons and I have already tried out the Crayola just their glitter crayons and they were pretty good too but Let's try this out. Oh, uh, interstellar dust. Ooh, so they've got like some pretty fun names for these. And the cranes are definitely shiny, so let us do that first swatch. Okay, well, so far I'm not really seeing anything super spectacular, but love. Eh, can't talk right now. Anyways, let's just give these crayons a fair shake. Okay, so got the swatches, did a couple of um, <laughs> blend tests, and overall, um, the color selection is pretty good. I'm not sure how well it, the glitter bits are showing up on camera, but there are um, glitter bits. <laughs> it's just that one thing I've noticed with the crayons that have like the glitter in them there, you can hopefully see that. Hopefully, yeah. Is that sometimes like there's like such a clump of glitter that it's hard to actually get the color down, if that makes sense? Um, but like, you know, you make it work however you can. Anyway, speaking of making it work however you can, I need to think of something to draw. Give me a minute. It, it'll come. I, I give it six hours.
All right, so some overall thoughts. Um, well, one, there is glitter. It's just not showing up particularly well on camera, but it is there, I assure you. Overall, I really like the colors in this set. I mean, like I have a thing for what I call the cotton candy colors, pinks and blues. And this set also came with a bunch of fantastic greens. I, I just had a lot of fun with this. I mean, yeah, that's that about sums it up. I was just having fun. Like, I don't know if my owl lady here could actually fly with wings like that, but you know what? I don't care. It's fantasy. Suspend your disbelief. I was just enjoying playing around with all the bright colors. I mean, yeah, what more can I say? I really think that Crayola, they do not disappoint with their gimmick crayons. I love these various sets of crayons. It's like every time I see a new one show up on the shelves, I get super excited because I'm like, ooh, I wonder how these ones are gonna be. So really, Crayola, they're, they're a great brand. They're relatively inexpensive. And most of their products I've used have worked really well. I mean, like, especially their crayons. I mean, there are a few issues with these ones, but it's nothing too bad. I mean, like, it's the usual problems I expect with glitter crayons, let me put it that way. Anyways, with all that being said, I'm afraid that's all the time we have for today's video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And with all that being said, this is Silver Hyena, signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!